We are here at Therapy in beautiful Midtown Manhattan to talk about my play, The Legend of Georgia McBride. The Legend of Georgia McBride is about a young guy who puts on a dress and becomes a man. Georgia McBride was a drag queen, uh, a straight man drag queen in Florida, and she's the most fabulous Elvis Dolly Faith Hill hybrid um, ever to hit the panhandle. It's about a young man who hasn't found his voice and finds his voice in an avenue or path that he never expected to find his voice and becomes a star. I think the whole play is pretty much the caterpillar becoming a butterfly. When I was a teenager, I started uh, sneaking into the local gay bar and watching the drag queens get ready for their shows every night. And uh, I really became fascinated. I wanted to write about uh, doing drag from the inside out. Not only is it a show of fun and fabulousness and Sashay and Shay, but you also have this heart of two people that love each other. And that's what I think it's grounded in. A straight male can be a female impersonator and still be loved by his other half, which happens to be a woman. It's a play about a group of people coming from very different worlds and sort of crashing into one another. Who are those people who are still struggling to find themselves in places that don't make it easy for them? appropriating it to a, a different culture as in the news all the time. So there is controversy to it. I think it'll make a great conversation. I think it's a play that's going to get people talking about what it means to be a family and how we define our families now, today. Doing this play on Christopher Street in the West Village uh, is actually very powerful for me. And we are blocks away from where American gay liberation exploded to life. I think there's a lot that can be discussed about this play through a lot of laughter. I am so excited about doing a comedy, and I get to play for three months, and I love that. We've got some great, exciting numbers to do. We just go from one number to the next, you know, without stopping. So, you know, that should be thrilling. We start out with an Elvis number, and we end with a full production number, um, complete with confetti cannons. <laughs> These audiences are going to be jumping in their seats and cheering along and we shoot you out of the theater with a smile on your face. I think you're going to see a group of actors up there who really love being on stage with one another and who uh, love telling the story and for that I'm really grateful.